It's part 7 of my Excel chart series, and these are the basics of line charts. Now let's look at a line chart in Excel. This is best for showing trends over time. So here we have Jim's sales over the year for each month, and we want to see what this looks like on a graph. So with our active cell in our data somewhere, we can click insert and come to this line section. You can see there are several options, but we'll just select this first one right here. So this is pretty simple. We see a line drawn between the different points of each month. You can hover over the points and see the values that they represent. This is a bit boring, so we can select the chart and come over to these chart styles and maybe add a style here. We'll, we'll select this one because it looks great. And let's also change this line up a bit. So if we select the line, we can then right click and click this format data series. And in the fill and line section right here, there are lots of options that we can use to change. We could show a, a, a dashed line right there. You can also check this box for a smooth line. And what that'll do is it'll kind of make the, the graph less rigid, if that's something that uh, you're into. And you can also add different markers by selecting this marker section right here. You can click down on this marker options and select a marker that you want to show up with each, with each data point. So you could add a triangle, and so now you have little triangles for, the, for each month. You can even select a picture if you wanted, if you had your own icon that you, that you wanted to add right there. So this is a pretty simple line graph right here, just showing Jim. We'll come over to this other tab right here. This is the revenue for all of our sales reps by month. You can also add a line graph to data like this. As you can see though, if you have too many lines that are pretty close to each other, this looks like a giant mess. I've found typically that you don't want more than two or three lines on any graph. And so, this might not make the most sense for what you're trying to do here. One thing that you can do if you've got a graph that looks a little busy and you just want to filter in on certain items, you can click this Select Data button right here. And again, this shows you what the data source for your graph is. But you'll notice these check marks right here next to the, next to the sales reps. Let's say we really only care about Dwight and Jim. They have a bit of a rivalry going on, and so we want to see what their, what their graphs look like together. We can click OK. And now we have, in essence, filtered our graph to only show Dwight and Jim. You could obviously create a data set where you only have Jim and Dwight's lines together, but maybe you want to show a data table with everyone in it, but then focus the graph on your top sales people.